Today, I will be discussing tips on how to build your professional resume. What are the elements of a resume? The elements of a resume include your contact information, which is the most important and overlooked component that most people forget to place on their resume. So always remember to place at least a, a full name, a phone number, and an email address. Your education, your work experience, your skills and awards, and volunteer work, or clubs or organizations that you're a part of. Centered and bolded at the top of your resume should be your full name followed by your contact information. You should include your email, which you check regularly, and the primary phone number. Your address is optional, but can be listed if you prefer. Following your contact information, you should list your education. Your education should include your school slash institution's name, location, and years attended. Um, as you can see on the screen, it highlights the institution name and the principles that are important, which um, you sort your school experience by relevance. So you put them in order in which the years you've attended and sometimes made some jobs or um, different things that you're applying for may ask for a short description of the school and like their goal or model. So you can you can implement that as well, but just make sure that you adapt. Uh, based on your needs and you keep it short and straight to the point. Following your education, you should list your experience. Be sure to be related over the Each experience should include your title, company's name, and year's work. You should also list your responsibilities for each job. Do not omit any important information. Following your education, you should highlight any awards and skills you've obtained, respectively. For awards, highlight any scholarships, professional awards, for example, job certifications, and participation awards that you've received, whether it's classroom related or any event that you've participated in. For your skills, you should highlight any oral communication, teamwork, and more, but also highlight those computer computer and technology you have gained. So any computer programming skills like Java, HTML, um, be sure to highlight those. Um, highlight any Microsoft training that you have as well. And on the technical side, be able to highlight if you're good at photography, if you're good at photo editing, anything of that nature, you should highlight that as well. Finally, you should highlight any volunteer work and school organization or activities you have participated in. For your volunteer experience, be sure to highlight any current experience you've had. For example, your freshman year to senior year or your senior year from four years from now. Um, try to keep it at a certain timeline so that way it's not too much information, but it's enough to know that you have done volunteer work. For your clubs and organizations, include the membership year, any positions held, and a short description of the club and the overall goal of the club. Now I will provide you with a few reminders to re remember while you're building your resume. One, keep your layout simple and neat. Two, always make sure your information, your contact information is first centered and bolded. Three, determine which resume format is most beneficial to you. You can either use chronological or functional or a combination of both, depending upon your needs. And four, highlight any relevant information regarding your educational background. So to go more in depth on that, you do have your education up there, but you can highlight any classes that you've taken over the course of the years that might be relevant to what you're applying to. So, um... For example, um, I'm a senior in college, so I highlight the classes that I've taken over the four years on my resume so you know what experience I do have, although I don't have experience in the field, but I do have classroom experience. Mm -hmm. Next, we will go in what, where in the world. This rare image shows usually unseen area via satellite because the constant thick clouds and storms. However, today, Patagoa's weather in June is clear of clouds for 100,000 100, square miles. 